day everyone! My name is Janil Marlanao and I'm going to discuss about the history of modern linguistics. What is modern linguistics? Linguistics or modern linguistics refers to the scientific study of language and its structure. This includes the study of features such as grammar, syntax, and phonetics. We all know that modern linguistics or linguistics is a scientific study of language and its structure and we tackled before the linguistics features such as grammar, syntax, phonetics, phonology, semantics, and etc. The history of modern linguistics. The modern field of linguistics dates from the beginning of the 19th century. While Asian India and Greece had a remarkable grammatical tradition, throughout most of history linguistics had been the province of philosophy, rhetoric, and literary analysis to try to figure out how human language works. Origin of Linguistics The study of linguistics in the modern sense is believed to have begun in the 19th century. It was then that one of the brothers behind Grimm's fairy tales, Jacob Grimm, built upon work done by Danish scholar Rasmus Ras to write a study of Indo-European's origin to the German language. At the beginning of 20th century, structuralism came to light with the insights introduced by the Swiss-French linguist Ferdinand de Saussure. Ferdinand de Saussure was a Swiss linguist, semitician, and philosopher. His ideas laid the foundation for many significant developments in both linguistics and semiotics in the 20th century. In the second half of 20th century, generative linguistics was born and developed with its founder, Noam Chomsky. Avram Noam Chomsky is an American linguist, philosopher, cognitive scientist, historian, social critic, and political activist. Sometimes called the father of modern linguistics, Chomsky is also a major figure in analytic philosophy and one of the founders of the field of cognitive science. So, the next one is the pre-structuralist tradition in the 19th century. Linguistics as a science began at the beginning of the 19th century. Its main interest was comparing languages to identify their historical developments and to determine their genealogical relations. So in pre-structuralist tradition of 19th century, the period is thus known the comparative historical tradition. At the beginning of 20th century, attention shifted to the fact that not only language change, but language structure as well systematic and governed by regular rules and principles. The attention of the world's linguists turned more and more to the study of grammar in the technical sense of turn the organization of the sound system of a language and the internal structure of its words and sentences. Historical linguistics is the oldest branch of modern linguistics. It understates the study of language change over a period of time. Different aspects of study of historical linguistics are system of sound, orthography, lexicography, language change, morphology, and meaning. It encompasses almost all the aspects of modern linguistics and analyzes historical changes. What is the main concern of modern linguistics? Modern linguists primarily concern themselves with either theoretical or applied linguistics. The research includes many facets of language and language structure, which can be studied at various levels. So, morphology and syntax are concerned with the study of internal structure of words and sentences. What are the uses of modern linguistics? Modern linguistics uses contrast between structural features, sounds, morphemes, words, and grammar of our language to differentiate between dialects or the languages. The principle here, as in hard sciences, is to identify the features of language that can be used contrast from one language dialect from another. What is the contribution of linguistics? 
Linguistics help teachers convey the origins of words and languages, their historical applications, and their modern-day relevance. So, that's the end of my discussion about the history of modern linguistics. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a great day and Godspeed.